I mean, that makes sense. It, it requires a certain amount of courage, especially uh, in, uh, to, I mean, it always requires courage to write just full stop. Um, but uh, especially in the current market, uh, mm -hmm. as a white woman from Texas writing from the, the perspective of these characters, right. um, it, I think it speaks volumes about the, uh, about the time that we're living in when I thought, ooh, Look, look at Kathy definitely uh, maneuvering this uh, and, 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 and silencing uh, savage YA Twitter. Uh, it's, it's not going to be an issue because, because you did do the, the homework and you, you presented characters um, that, to the best of my knowledge, are 100% are accurate and feel authentic as you're reading them. But it also occurred to me that in addition to those uh, characters, you're writing from, uh, was it Zora? Uh, the uh, young oscillates perspective, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and and I can't imagine young adult Twitter. I don't think there are any oscillates on Twitter <laughs> saying you didn't get the oscillate experience <laughs> correct. Right. Well, um, you know, in, in, I mean, I never forgot. I mean, I I'm tuned into Twitter. I would be lying if I said I wasn't. And um, you know, I I appreciate the argument. I really do. I I feel like it made me more careful, and. Uh, you know, I think it's an important argument. I mean, I, I, it's more than an argument, really. It's it's a major discussion, and um, it is a little on the terrifying side. I never once, for not one minute, forgot that I was a white, middle-aged woman who, well, now not even middle-aged. I'm a senior citizen now, but um, um, you know, I never ever forgot that you know who I was in the writing of this. Um, uh, you know, as a white privileged woman who um, who is writing these characters, I, I you know I think that was never ever outside of my mind while I was writing it, and and I say that not because I felt like it gave me a right to write those characters. It it didn't. It absolutely didn't give me any rights at all. Um, what it did was make me truly truly want to get it right. And um, that's my hope, you know, that's my hope that, and I, you know, I had lots of help. Um, I had, t you know, great readers um, and, and even my critique group and, and other readers who, who encouraged me. And, you know, I, I mean, it was, I have to say really scary and it still, it continues to be scary because, um, you know, my readers could only get me so far you know, and um, they, you know, they did what they could. The rest is my responsibility. And so hopefully I did get it right. But if I didn't, it was totally on me. And, um, and so, you know, I'm very, and, and my publisher, my editor couldn't have been more supportive as, as I was working on this story. So um, I love my characters and with um, AXA particularly, um, no, I'm not a black woman. No, I've never been enslaved. I know what it's like to be discriminated against, you know, as a woman, just as a woman. Um, I've had that experience. So I do know that. But I also know what it is to be a mother. And when I read that story about the real person in Houston who was set free, but her children weren't, my heart broke. I just thought, how how can you be free if your children aren't, you know, I mean, that's, that, it seems like it would be an impossibility because she could have saved herself. You know, she could have just saved herself and walked away, but um, she didn't. And so, um, so I could really, um, you know, identify with that, that aspect of her. And also, you know, just the fact that I, my family has been in Houston for generations, you know, I'm like a seventh or eighth generation Houstonian. So, um, so in some ways, the story is a tribute to my hometown. So, um, so there's that too. But um, yeah, so you know, I never, I never take for granted anything. So, I, I, I seriously hope I got it right. <laughs> Oh, I think it, I think the uh, the care that you've taken with the characters absolutely comes through on the page. Well, thank you. Uh, and I'm uh, I'm a big proponent of one of the whole reasons uh, we're coming to uh, reading in the first place, and certainly why we're coming to, to writing, uh, is because we want to empathize with characters that are unlike us. If we're not as writers going to seek out characters of different perspectives, what are we doing with our time? Why why bother in the first place? 